and welcome to today's video, which is kind of hilarious and kind of exciting. Well, I think it's exciting anyway. This is a part two video. I will put the first part on the screen right here, and also I will link it in the card above. The gist of today's video is an accidental thrifting haul, and what I mean by this is a couple weeks ago, my sister got her accidentally sent to my house which I opened and I showed you guys the review of the products and I will say I loved all the products I love them so much is that they were sticking out in my brain and as I was out thrifting which is something that I do basically every single day I came across all of these ridiculous goodies which basically meant that I was able to build myself my own out of things from one thrift store but from multiple thrifting experiences and I'm gonna show you guys this experience today. So let's go. The first item up on this haul is this striped shirt, which I actually owned. And about a week before filming that video, I had donated to my local thrift store because I was like, nah, I've had it for a while. I don't need it. And then after seeing what was in my sister's, I was like, dang it, I really want that shirt back. So when I was in my local thrift store, they had it sitting out on one of the end racks for $5. So I was like, well, I guess I'm rebuying my own shirt again. And let's try it on. Here's my thrifted dupe. I did get this originally from the thrift store, which I would have paid at least a dollar for. So at this point, I have $6 invested in this stupid shirt that I had already owned in the first place. The difference between this shirt and the other shirt is that this one is not long like the other one was. The other one actually covered my butt, which was super nice because then I could wear it with leggings and you didn't see anything that you didn't want to see. But I do still really like this one. It also has a pocket right here so I could put like my cell phone or whatever in it that I needed. If you're wondering, my sister did keep her shirt so we could be twinsies and wear our shirts like this. This is our first item which cost, I'll say $6 because I don't know how much I actually paid for it in the long run versus the $42. Next up is this green Under Armour shirt, which when I found this at the thrift store, I was like, we are done. I'm making this video. It is, th this is officially a sign from above that this video needs to be made. But as I was perusing my local thrift store, I found this men's Under Armour shirt and it is in the exact same green color. Can we even? Yes, it is short sleeve. Unlike the long sleeve version that my sister had, she also kept that piece. I actually wear more short sleeve shirts when working out and and I actually typically wear the men's shirts because I don't like the way women's shirts are cut. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like sh tight shirts when I'm working out. And also men's clothing is cheaper than women's. I don't know if that one seam makes a difference, but it appears to make a difference when pricing things. This shirt was $5, so let's try it on. Ooh, here it is. I'm so excited. It's really nothing special in general. It is just a normal men's Under Armour <laughs> t-shirt. But here is the best part about this whole situation is the fact that when I saw this one, it came with friends. So the person also donated this beautiful blue colored one and also this gray colored one, which I wasn't totally sure I needed. All three of these shirts were $5 each or $15 total, which is half the cost of that one shirt, which was $30. So I was like, what the heck? We're getting three! And then honestly, I'm not sure which one sealed the deal more for this video. Whether it was that green Under Armour shirt or these blue leggings, which are just like the ones that my sister got in the box. They also have this super cute side mesh pocket, which is honestly the hardest part when trying to find leggings that are like yoga or walking leggings. It's just trying to find that pocket in the side. I've only seen two or three pairs at the thrift store and one of them was also super cute, but was way too tiny, so no. But these were in my size. They were blue like the other ones and I was just so dang excited. They were, they're also super crazy, ridiculously soft. And I think the store had marked them $7. I'll be honest, I'm not sure if I paid $7 or $3.50 for these. I don't actually remember, but there's still a killer freaking deal. We'll say $7. These are $7 versus the $54 of the other leggings. So let's try them on. Woohoo! All right, so these leggings are amazing. And these are probably my absolute favorite leggings I've ever owned, hands down. I can see why these higher end brands exist because they are just fabulous. The good part about this one, like the other ones, they do come up nice and super high. So they have that nice tummy support to make you feel pretty and, you know, supported. And also they come up really high in the back. So if you were actually doing yoga, the best part, it has pockets. 
so you can put your cell phone in here so if you are going on a walk your cell phone's not a problem which is awesome and like the blue pair in the previous video these are also fabulously too long for me so I will again have to hem these up but I will say the difference between this brand and the ones that I tried on in the previous video were that these are both a size medium but this medium is so comfy whereas the other mediums they fit really well in my legs but they were just a little bit snug in the waist and I didn't love that they just they didn't feel great whereas these I again I could do yoga in them I've done yoga in them they're just amazingly comfy and 10 out of 10 I love these. I couldn't find an exact dupe for the black leggings because again they had pockets on them and were really soft but I did find two options. I believe these were both six dollars versus the 42 of the other pair and again I couldn't find ones that had the pockets on the side which are really the difference in these but I did find two pairs of black capris so I'm going to just try them both on real quickly and show you guys how they fit. Here are the black capri pants. Again, they don't have the pocket, which is a little bit disappointing. These don't actually have any pockets in them at all. So if you needed to put your keys in them, you would have to just bring a bag because you are out of luck on this. But these are really comfy. These would be great for just lounging around the house or I mean, these would be good for doing yoga because they're very bendy. These have a super soft waistband. So 10 out of 10 recommend. Just do wish they had those pockets. But these I love, so comfy, so nice. For six bucks, these are not too bad and they are capris like the other ones so you can see my ankles again. I don't really understand the difference between the capris and the long ones other than the fact that I can't wear these in the snow. I don't really understand why I would buy capris versus regular ones. If anybody else knows, please let me know in the comments below because I don't actually know. And then last up on our list, the only item that I just didn't even bother to find a dupe for was that black backpack that was $68 and here's why. I'm never going to use that item. Since we're in the current situation right now, I'm not going to coffee shops, I'm not really going anywhere that would that I would actually need that sort of backpack for. I do already have this one cute camel colored backpack that I thrifted for about $8 like five years ago and I literally only ever use this backpack in videos or for fashion shoots. I never ever use it normally. And then I have two other smallish sized backpacks that I use when I'm going to amusement parks but literally never ever would take that black backpack that's super nice over just one of my $20 backpacks that I got from Target. So while I could have found a thrifted version, I chose not to because I would just end up donating it back anyway because I didn't need it. But I still wanted to show you guys a thrifted option. So again, this one's pretty cute. It would definitely hold an iPad if I had an iPad. <laughs> and I never actually take my computer off the charging station. So we just all around don't really need a backpack. So I'm just gonna put this back in my cute little spot that I put props for taking pictures. <laughs> Goodbye backpack. Okay, let's talk some numbers. So in the original video where I tried on all of my sister's items, the total would have been $236 if I had kept everything. And I wanna say I really did like all of the products and I also really thought it was a great learning experience because I, again, went to the thrift store and was suddenly like, these things are on my radar and I really want them and I really like them. So her box was originally $236 and I did the math on how much my box would have cost. So excluding the backpack for just the striped shirt, one Under Armour shirt, the blue leggings and the black leggings, it would have been $24. Now if we include the fact that I bought three Under Armour shirts versus one, we are now up to $34. And if we want to include the original cost of my camel backpack, that takes us up to $42. So $42 for all of these items versus the $236 of the Stitch Fix box. I'd say I did pretty well in my thrifting adventure. If you guys like this video, could you please give it a big thumbs up? It helps the YouTube algorithm and also makes me smile and it would mean so much to me. If you guys are not subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button down below because I make lots and lots of DIY and thrifted videos and I love to share my ridiculous adventures with you guys. And I hope you have a fantastic week and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Bye.